Thank you. Everything all right? Yes, Hare Krishna. Aradhita Jadi Hari Stavasadata Kim. Govinda Adipurus, he is known as Hari. Hari means who takes away all your miseries. That is Hari. Hara, Hara means taking away. Harati. So, that's like thief also takes away. Uh, but he takes uh, the valuable things, material consideration. Sometimes Krishna also takes away uh, your material valuables just to show you special favor. Just saham anugrnani harishita dhanam sanai. Jyudhishthi Maharaj inquired from Krishna that we are supposed to be very pious. My brothers are great warriors. My wife is uh, exactly the goddess of fortune. <clears throat> and above all, you are our personal friend. So how is this that we have lost everything? We have lost our kingdom, we have lost our wife, we have lost our honor, everything. So in reply to this, Krishna said, and just saham on a green nami harisheta dharam jani. My first favor is that I take away all riches of my devotee. And therefore, people are not very much enthusiastic to come to Krishna consciousness. <laughs> uh, but he does it just like the Pandavas were in the beginning put into difficulty, but later on they become the most exalted personalities throughout the whole history. That is Krishna's favor. In the beginning, he may do like that because we have got attachment for our material acquisitions. So that is my personal experience. In the beginning, when my Guru Maharaj ordered me, I thought it that I shall first of all become a very rich man, then I shall preach. So I was doing very nice in business. In the business circle, I got very good name. Oh, and with whom I was dealing business, they were very satisfied. But Krishna made so strict that he broke everything. And he obliged me to take sannyas. So that is Hari. Uh, so that I had to come to your country with only seven dollars. <laughs> so they are criticizing. The Sami came here with no money. Now he is so opulent. <laughs> so say they are taking the back side. Black side, you see. Uh, but this thing is, of course, I have become profit profitable, or I have acquired profit, I left my home, my children, and everything. I came here as a pauper with seven dollars, and that is no money. But I have got now big properties, hundreds of children, <laughs> and I haven't got to think for their provision. They are thinking of me. So that is Krishna's favor. In the beginning, it appears to be very bitter. When I took sannyas, when I was living alone, I was feeling very bitter. 
I sometimes I was thinking whether I have done wrong by accepting. So now when I was publishing this Back to Godhead from Delhi, uh, one day one bull thrust me and I fell down on the footpath and I got severe injury. I was alone. So I was thinking, yeah, what is this? Uh, so I had many uh, days of very tribulations, but it was all meant for good. So don't be afraid of tribulations, you see. Go forward. Uh, Krishna will give you protection. That is Krishna's promise in the Bhagavad Gita. Kaunte apratijani hi name bhakta pranasati. Kaunteya, my dear son of Kunti, Arjun, you can declare throughout the whole world that my devotees will never be vanquished. You can declare that. And why he is asking Arjun to declare? Why he does not declare himself? There is meaning. Because if he promises, there are instances that he sometimes broke his promise. But if a devotee promises, it will be never broken. Krishna will give protection. Therefore he says his devotee that you declare. There is no chance of being broken. Krishna is so kind that sometimes he breaks his promise, but if his devotee promises, he takes a very careful attention that his devotee's promise may not be broken. That is Krishna's favor. So, āradhita yadi hari sabasāta we are worshipping Govindamadi Buddhism, the supreme original personality of Godhead, who is known as Hari. The Vedic scripture says, Aradhita Jadi Hari. If you have come to the point of worshipping Hari, the supreme personality of Godhead, Stapasata Kim. Then there is no more need of austerity, penances, yoga practice, or these or that, so many sacrifices, ritualistic, all finished. You do not, do not require to take trouble for these things. If you have come to the point of sacrificing everything for Hari, Aradhitadadi Hari, Sabhasavatatam. And Naradhita Jadi Hari And you are performing austerities, penances, sacrifices, ritualistic ceremony, everything, but I do not know what is Hari. It is useless. All useless. Naradhita Jadi Hari. No Aradhita. If you do not come to the point of worshipping Hari, then all these things are useless. Tatakki. Antatvahi jadi hari stapusāt natakke. If you always see hari within yourself, and if you see hari always outside, inside and outside, tadantike taddhure tad... What is that? Bats? Ishapunishad? Tadantare? That dure, that antike, sarvasa. Hari is present everywhere. So one who sees Hari, antike, near, and far distant place, within, outside, he does not see anything except Hari. How it becomes possible? Premaan yana churita bhakti bilojana. When one is merged into the love of God. He does not see anything in the world except Hari. That is his vision. 
So antat bahi dadi hari, inside and outside. If you always see Hari, Krishna, stavasad hatha kim, then what is the use of your other austerities and penances? You are on the topmost level. That is wanted. Nantat bahi jadi hari, stavasad hatha kim. And if you do not see within and outside Hari always, then what is the value of your austerities? Therefore, in the morning, we chant this mantra, Govindamadi Purusam Tamaham Bhajya. We have no other business. Simply we have to satisfy Govinda, the Supreme Personality of God at Krishna. Then everything is complete. He is complete and his worship is complete, his devotee is complete. Everything is complete. Thank you. Chant.